On Friday, August 9th, Rochester High School once again hosted OAA Media Day. Now in its 10th year, players and coaches representing the 22 teams making up the Oakland Activity Association were given an opportunity to meet with the press and look ahead to the 2024 high school football season. Something that we uh, historically like to host because it gives us an opportunity to bring everybody in the OAA together to celebrate this league, the players, the teams. Um, it's a really great event, so thank you for everybody for showing up. Last year, the Lake Orion Dragons went 9-0 during the regular season, 10-1 including the playoffs, and lost to Clarkson 38-37 in the district final. I talked to Coach Chris Bell, who told me he has high expectations for the 2024 season. We've got uh, some great kids coming back. We've got some good kids coming up from the JV. So we've got we've got bodies. We've got candidates. We think we're going to be really good at those positions. That's part of high school football. We get a chance to teach them and coach them, and and uh, those guys get to step in, make a name for themselves. And so we think we're going to be fine. Talk about your schedule. You open up with Northville Week One. I mean, that's a very tough schedule when you look at it. Yeah, if I, from Northville, uh, the Week Two you got Stony Creek, who's going to be good with Ricky leading them. Um, the OA Red and then finish with Celine every week is going to be a dogfight. That makes you better. You know, we, we want to play good teams. Iron sharpens iron. And if we can uh, make a run in the OA Red and uh, be playing great football at the end of the year, we'll be battle tested and hopefully we'll make a run in the playoffs. What is your expectation this year, Coach? My expectation is, is Lake Orion will be in the thick for the OAA Red Championship. We're going to be a playoff team and uh, we're going to be that team that nobody wants to play come playoff time. The OA Red Division is made up of the Lake Orion Dragons, Oxford Wildcats, Clarkson Wolves, Rochester Adams Highlanders, and the West Bluefield Lakers. Let's hear what those coaches had to say. Our senior leadership, we have 24 seniors this year, um, and, a, and a bulk load of those guys have played at this level, at the varsity level, so um, they kind of set the standard, and um, you know we go as they go. Talk about that murder's role with schedule you got. You got Ike week one, you got Macomb, Dakota week nine. I mean, like, your schedule is absolutely brutal this year. Yeah, you know, smashed in between that is the OAA, which is, which is awesome. That's what we want. You know, you heard it a, many, a million times a day. Um, if you're going to make a run in the postseason, you got to go through the OAA and get, and get ready. So, um, obviously, winning the OAA is, is the goal. Um, you win the OAA, you're set up for success. So, um, it, we just take one game at a time and we're prepared for everybody. Um, in terms of our schedule, obviously the, the OA Red is uh, super competitive. Um, I, I expect every one of those games to be a battle. And then um, non-conference, we got Belleville week one, and um, you know they've obviously had a lot of history here. The last two years they've been in the state championship game, winning one and, and coming close in the second one. And uh, Obviously they present such a unique um, uh, situation with what they have at quarterback. So we're just looking forward to that opportunity. I've talked to the guys quite a bit about, um, you know, you'll be one of the only guys that have this opportunity to go play the number one player in the country, and, and that guy's a quarterback. So um, if you're any kind of competitor, like your juices should be flowing. You should be excited about having that chance. And um, as a coach, we're excited to have that chance to, to kind of drop some, uh, some stuff defensively and see what we can do against them. Our season last year was very disappointing. Uh, great kids, they worked really hard, but we didn't accomplish what we wanted to. Uh, these guys have worked their butt off to try to get, get us back where we belong, um, trying to compete for the OAA Red title. Um, this particular team has chosen a model of courage for our season. Um, we were greatly motivated by a young man named Steve Gleason. He's just won the award from Arthur Ashe Award in the ESPYs, demonstrating great courage. And uh, he has sent us a personal message in 2021 before the state finals. And he, ampl he amplifies everything about our sport and everything about passion and courage. So hopefully we can live up to the expectations he set for us and we set for ourselves. We open against Romeo week one. Let's go OAA. We have a lot of guys that I think are really good players. Uh, not a lot of them have a ton of experience playing a lot of varsity minutes, just to be honest. Uh, we brought the line because I think, like I said, in front of the group, they're the strength of the team. They do all the little things right way. They're leaders in the weight room, leaders in the school, all stuff like that. Um, but we also have a ton of guys on defense. We started 10 seniors on defense last year. And some of those guys were rotational players. We had some sophomores get on the field, and we're going to be really counting on them to take that next step. And that'll probably determine how good of a team we are. What is the expectation here, Coach? Really just go out and compete. Like, like you said, the schedule is, you said, uh, murderous. It's really challenging. If we go out there and just compete and, like, trust our process, we think by the end of the year we'll be in a spot where we got a shot. The Lake Orion Dragons kick off the um, 2024 football season on Thursday, August 29th as they travel to Northville to take on the Mustangs. The Dragons' home opener will be 
on week three, September the 13th, as they host the Troy Colts at Dragon Stadium. From Rochester, I'm Sammy Termina for ON TV News.